Today would be the perfect day to review and haul the most popular items from Shein.com. This is not right. I just don't like this top. I wish it looked like that on me. There should be zero hype for this dress. Yeah, I'm hyped to take it off. What's up guys? Welcome back to Clever Style. Yay. Hi. Welcome back. I love that trio sound. <laughs> that was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. You guys know we've done a lot of Shein try on hauls here mm -hmm. and you guys still always want us to try on more stuff from there and we wanted to get creative and do something like we haven't really done before. Yeah, because you know we love Shein and we thought today would be the perfect day to review and haul the most popular items from Shein.com. These are literally the most popular items at Shein. They have over 10,000 reviews each mm -hmm. and five stars. And that is uh, pretty popular if you ask me. Yeah. I'm literally wearing a Shein shirt, just had to tell you guys. She knew so. what we were doing today. Shein knew. Shein knew. <laughs> And we are gonna try on all these items and also give you guys the tea. We're gonna let you guys know if they're overhyped or just right. Honestly, with all the, um, with 10,000 reviews, I feel like you've gotta know that it's, something's good in there. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. again, there are like, maybe seven million people shopping that site every day. Yeah, but if, let's site. think if 10,000 people were in this room telling us, buy this shirt, we think we should buy this shirt. Well, if they all said it like that, yeah, I don't know. Me. simultaneously, I would be like, do whatever like you want with me. from Toy Story. Yeah, yes. Yes. Buy this shirt. All right, you guys, up first we have this lovely little silk scarf tie top and it is eight dollars and that's that is cheap that's a good number um yeah. it's very she and priced you know and some of the reviews were silky material looks just like the picture doesn't show too much back good for big boobs we got lots of variety here i mean look i think we all agree do you though i think it's an ugly shirt like i'll mm, be honest okay. like i don't love this shirt i love a, a scarf bandana top. I just wouldn't do it with straps personally. But if this is something you're ordering and you're hoping it looked like the photo and this is what it came with, I mean, I'd be happy with that. I think it, I think honestly, it's hard to make us all look bad. I think everybody looks good in yeah. them. But as a wearing experience, it's not comfortable to wear because it feels so thin. Thin oh, and I feel opposite. Really? I don't think it feels thin. I think it feels thin. But pretend like you're 14 and you're trying to like look sure. like these cool that's, older girls. That's what I don't like about it. <laughs> to me, this looks basic. Even with all the colors and patterns, it still looks really, really basic and I don't like it. You basic. But do you guys see this? This to me yeah. feels so close. Oh it's yeah. So close right here. Like if I just, you know, <laughs> did a stretch or like chase my Amazon package down the street, like, yeah. oh, that's for me, that's for me. This booby is gonna fall right out of its okay. crevices. Dude, I wish it looked like that on me. I know. Because what? your boobs are like so perfect perky. and round and perky. It looks so mm. much hotter and you don't look like you're 14. I can't believe you just said that to me. I wear tops that are like actual silk scarves tied as a tube top. That definitely feels an inappropriate thing for a tween, but it's a risk I take because I'm close to 30. But do I... you feel more comfortable in your silk scarf than you do in this? No, I actually feel more confident that like mm. I won't show in this one because there is a thicker band. It's not too much movement. There's not a lot of room for like human, human error, but I just don't like this top but I get why it's, I guess, got great reviews. Would this be something I rated as a top rating? No, absolutely not. Like, I would not go on my computer to type for this shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. For me, I feel like this shirt is overhyped. I think it's cute. I don't like dislike myself in it, but I would never wear this yeah. anywhere, anyway. I'm gonna have to say the exact same. Overhyped, just not for me, nothing special. Personally, I think it's overhyped but I can 100% see why this would be popular. This is like one of the hottest things people are wearing right now. Yeah. It makes sense why this is up there. I just, it's not blowing my mind, you know? All right, this is the thigh slit satin dress from Shein. The reviews were glowing, folks. They said that it isn't see-through, that the slit is sexy, but not too sexy, that the material's great, that it's a great dupe for a CB, House of CB dress. I think when we all stepped out in this, it was a very sad moment because the dress in its ideal form should be cute. In my head, it's supposed to be good. In person, it is so 
awful. I mean, yeah, piggybacking off that, like I feel like it is just the cheaply made version of whatever you really want to get because 100%. it doesn't feel like it was actually made on a real woman's body. Like the way that the chest is created is just not, even with someone who has a chest, like it's just not fitting properly. Her cups are like up here. They're not even cups. They were just kind of like, here's for cups. Like yeah. I, I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Like it's surprisingly, like it's not a, a big potato sack, you know, it's got some ruching. I guess if you're looking for something throwaway for 18 bucks and you want it to seem like fun and artsy maybe. I don't know collectively if any of us are into the colors. No, I look like Lady Gaga at the Grammys <laughs> oh, wearing God, her meat dress. Funny, I want to give my fans everything that they deserve and they do not deserve sweatpants and sneakers. The thing that really bugs me, honestly, there's a lot that bugs me, but the thing that I hate the most is that instead of cups, yeah. Yeah. they have just sewn in seams like a like a drawing of a cup. Yeah, like they should have just left it alone, and it would have been it better. It almost, it would have been more of like a slip dress where it's like intentionally to fall wherever. Whereas now it's like, oh look at you not filling out your cups. <laughs> Leave me alone. This is an absolute fail to me. I don't understand how people could like this so much. Like, I really don't get it. My biggest issue is, yeah, the colors are horrific, but like, it is such like low quality that this I, will break in yeah. an instant. The cups is, it makes it look cheaper, the fact that there's cups here. There's nothing redeeming about this. Can I we mean, send this bag and get our money back? <laughs> like, we need to get our money back for these. I, I think collectively overhyped. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like zero hype. There should be zero hype for this dress. Yeah, I'm hyped to take it off. Alrighty, so we are back in the plunging backless one piece bathing suit. It's only 13 bucks. It's actually a pretty dope bathing suit, I'm gonna be honest with you. The straps are incredibly long. They're like six feet long. <laughs> it's designed that way on purpose so that you can wear them a bunch of different ways, as you can see. We all wore them just different ways. Mine's kind of like you. I was gonna say, I think ours are similar. Yeah. So yours is cool. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. This was not intentional. I just was like, how the hell am I supposed to get this over the other way? I misunderstood when it was supposed to go around your waist. So after I did this, I was like, that's not right. I kind of like it. No, I think no, it I has, love it's it. left up to your own devices. Yeah, and you can also wear it one shoulder as well. The reviews are obviously really good just because of the versatility of this. Like, it is a lot of it's, it's a lot of different bathing suits in one. I do think it does, it's flattering on the boobs. I think the pads are a little messed up, but like, you can take the padding out if you don't want it, which I definitely will be doing. Pretty thin right here, so the padding is almost making it worse. And then, of course, it's still a full coverage, full-ish coverage bottom. I, I do think it is like a little bit cheeky. It's but, gotta come out. You know, when you, yeah. when you mentioned the pads, I started to get itchy and I was like, get these things no, I, 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 they're so ballsy on camera. I know. I'm yeah. Very I don't even nervous. know the the level of confidence you had doing that. Oh, now, I, well, it I, feels I, like it could be. I, Have you ever been naked in public? I feel really cute in this. I'm, I'm very surprised. I feel way more confident with this sarong. I brought this sarong from home because I knew we'd be doing a bathing suit today. I really do like the white. I think the white's really summery. It's really cute. Yeah, the white's really fun. I probably would never wear this swimming just because of the such plunging deep V, back, tie, etc. Like there is a lot of room for human error there just in case like, you know, you do a really confident dive in. I could just see the, the girls falling oh, yeah. out. But I think for what, 13 bucks? Yeah. Like these are fun. If you guys have a photo shoot, if you just want to like have something cute to lounge by the pool if you want a sexier one piece i think that these are great options there's so many different ways to wear it it's definitely tied mine too tight and yeah it, oh, it hurts so bad i'm like i cannot even believe she's like restricted her breathing she's like all of a sudden just passes out that is quite a situation i think we pretty much hit the nail on the head i think we all pretty much think it's a pass it's a good it's a yeah she it's good i need to learn how to tie it better should we do the next round so Sinead doesn't die yes. yeah i feel like a seven-year-old who like messed up like tied in the car seat You're like art. i need a mom oh my gosh yeah All right, you guys, up next we have the floral crop top hem skirt set. This is a $9 set. So just so you guys know some of the reviews about this two piece were that it fits very well. The skirt is not too short. They liked the material, but plot twist, I am wearing two different sizes. So I'm wearing a small top and a medium skirt. I folded it because I think we're all a little bit confused on how this was so popular. Like the sizing is a little off. The colors are a little, extra they were all sold out of every other color so we all no ended up way. in yellow yes yellow is a hard color to pull off period yeah. 
Um, and this sizing is giving me like hospital vibes. Shane's redesigning it. I just, it's so big. And that's a small, we're both, I'm wearing a small top. Like this should have been like an extra small. I put on like my pattiest padded bra on just to like fill it out and it made it worse because it made the top of it just pucker, pucker even more but before it was like laughable. I literally looked like I was try trying on like my older sister's clothing. I was literally just gonna say that like you're trying on like your big sister. Especially with these mother effing space buns. I'm literally like oh man I hope one day I'll have boobs and I can wear this shirt. True. Like the way it's cut, the top is doing the literal least flattering to anyone, which is why I think 12 year olds are telling us that it's great quality fit. I'm just gonna or, keep rolling it. Yeah, like, it's like selfie gonna... shorts in middle school, dude. Yeah. She's literally redesigning it. I know, I'm like there. tugging it into Ooh, my bra. Getting sexier. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe this is the least favorite color, obviously, because it was the only one left. I don't know if that would change very many things. I think yellow just makes it look even more childish, even more yeah, basic than what true. it is. The color yellow does look really nice on you. I think it, like, it actually complements your hair really well. That's because I look like a hot dog. You're dressed like a hot dog. So is that guy. Oh no. The way this top is cut, you guys, it's, is my yeah. biggest pet peeve. Like the, so the straps are so ready to fall down. It does nothing for your decolletage, or whatever it's called, like your neck. Like it just does nothing for your cleavage. And it's also like the worst fabric imaginable. It's, it's like scrubs. It's like itchy, rough polyester. Honestly, the only good thing about it, which I'm kind of surprised that I feel this way, is I don't feel naked. I mean, it's not long, but I don't feel like, oh, my boob's gonna pop out or yeah. whatever. So at least I feel like you could wear this somewhere. Yeah. I wouldn't, but you could. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say overhyped. 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 Okay, guys, I feel like we had some real hits and actually, uh, did we have any hits? No. So soon was I. I feel I, hit in my fashion spirit. 